I just received all the stuff that I'm going to use to protect the floor of my chicken coop. And I'll show you what I got here. Uh, first thing, and most important, this is the hardware cloth. This is 48 inches by 50 feet. I picked this up on Amazon, had it shipped through Prime. This is like 50 some dollars. Uh, it was actually a really good deal. I couldn't get anything like this through Lowe's for that price or any home improvement store. And I feel like I got an even better deal because there is a penny inside of it. So there's a penny off right there. And then to cut this, I picked up these tin snips, aviation snips as they're called. I think these were like 15 bucks or something like that. I heard really good reviews on this brand, Wiss or Weiss. So I'm gonna measure the chicken coop floor and try to cut this and put it on all three directions. Like if, if the door's here, I'm gonna put some across the side, the back, and the other side so nothing can burrow up under. If you get my drift. If you haven't been on my channel very long, this is the inside of my chicken coop. Got the feeders hanging in the center. And then the back, this is where they perch and I put these these plastic totes under here to catch their crap, which works really well, and I move that out to the garden. This is where they lay their eggs, and back here is where the mink was getting in. So as I mentioned, this is gonna go across the back, the sides, like that, and it's 48 inches wide, so it should come out to like right about there. Uh, right here is the 48 inch mark, so you can see how far over that is. And then this is only, let's see, right there is nine feet, so it's not quite 10 feet wide, so pretty much all the floor is gonna be covered in here, except for maybe like a foot in the center. But for it to burrow, the whole way across there is gonna be pretty impressive. So I'm gonna do this side, do this side, and I'm gonna put one across the back, and that's gonna be the important one. So I uh, did my measuring, and now I'm gonna try to cut this stuff. There's some light coming through the hole where that mink was getting in, and I'll show you just how small this is from the inside. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but you can kind of see where that piece is kind of blowing in the wind there. That's where that thing came through, and this is how big it is in relation to my hand. So, basically the size of my fingers is where this thing got in, and that's how it came in to kill all my chickens. Speak of the devils, there they are. Now these guys have been staying up in a tree the past few nights, so I don't even know if this stuff's going to come into play, but when I get more chickens, I'm going to try to get these guys all back together and keep them inside the coop, because that's definitely where they're safest at. And I really don't like you guys being in trees, it's very, very dangerous. These things are pretty sweet. They're sort of like scissors on steroids. I think these are going to come in really handy for a lot of things. And uh, there's my penny, so I'll collect that. It is heads down, so that's not a good sign. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. 1991. Since this stuff's kind of bendable, I think I'm going to do an extra 12 inches on both sides. So my original measurement for the back was 9.5 feet. I'm going to do this 11.5 feet. That way I have a foot that I can just fold it over and then pin it up to the wall. So that way nothing can get in. So I'm going to have a little bit of protection going up the wall as well. Because I'm only going to be using probably 30 some feet of this and I have 50. This is where these tin snips come in handy. I'm going to cut through this like this. 48 inches across so these will make easy work of that. I have to do three separate cuts for each side. So this will be the back and then I'll, it'll be the first side of the left and then I'll have to do the, the right on the other side. So this should be pretty simple going through this. I got my first piece put in just temporarily so I can show you the idea that I'm going for here. Uh, as you can see, this is what it's going to look like when it's in. And you can see how it would have really saved the situation here. Because back here, say I had a cinder block on top of this, nothing would be burrowing through that. That would be totally off limits and there would be no way to get in. And the same thing for this corner. So this comes out 48 inches. And the nice thing is once I get that other piece going back here, I'm going to have it go up the back like this is on the sides. So there's, I'm going to try to maybe pin that up or keep it up in a way that even if something gets in, it's not going to be able to get over that. Now that's just temporary right now. I'm going to use this time. I'm going to pull that back out and I'm going to clean this whole shed out. I'm going to get rid of all this straw that's in here and put fresh in and kind of level the floor out as much as I can. I don't want to permanently affix this stuff to the floor because I kind of feel like when I clean this in the future, I'm going to want to remove that. So I'm going to use cinder blocks, which I have quite a few of. And I'm going to try to make sure that all the walls, I might even get some more actually, make sure all the walls are lined with cinder blocks to kind of keep everything real tight up against the wall. You know, like if I, if I move this block like that, and if I had a bunch of them, there's no way anything's going to get in under that, especially if I put those in the corner where that mink was coming in over there. This will be the last thing that I film of this. I'm going to do all of the boring stuff now, and I'm just going to show you the final effort once it's all done so you can see how nice it looks and hopefully uh, well protecting of my chickens. I want to make this last little clip before I run out of light here tonight. I want to show you my final product uh, before I put the straw down. Um, hopefully you can see inside here. Let me, there it's adjusting. So there is my hardware cloth put in my chicken coop. You can see how it looks. I have it running all the way up to the corners. So it looks real nice there. I haven't secured anything over here. I just want to get this shot in. 
uh, back here, you can see the double coverage on the corner. You got one piece here and one piece running there, and I got a cinder block. So the corners I feel very secure about. I mean, nothing is going to get through there. I think if I just had a cinder block there, that would have stopped the Predator before. Uh, in the center here, I just had that there holding it down temporarily. And then this side is the same way. As you can see, everything runs up about a foot all the way around. Uh, I thought I'd cut a little extra because you can't get it back if you, if you cut too much off. So I left a little bit on. And uh, the way this is set up, I'm going to put some straw all over this next. So uh, that'll be all covered and the chickens will still be doing their same thing like before. They probably won't even notice this is here. But when I ever go to clean this out or do anything, I can remove all these pieces. They're not fully secured. They're just going to have a bunch of cinder blocks, which I have some on the property here that'll go around here and the back and the side. And uh, if I don't have enough, I'm just going to buy some more. I want to thank you for watching my hardware cloth video. I highly recommend this if you have a chicken coop. It just may save your chickens' lives. If you are working with it, I recommend using some heavy-duty gloves because it can easily cut you. But a uh, good investment. I spent about 50 bucks, and I think that's going to end up saving a lot of chickens' lives here in the future. To finish my coop project, I went and bought 23 of these 2-inch solid cinder blocks. And these are going to go all around the outside of the coop to hold the hardware cloth down. I also bought some straw, which you can probably tell too. Finally got it done. I wanted to show you how it turned out here. Here is the shed itself. There's my helper. I want to thank you. Oh, and there's the chickens. They're sitting on their makeshift perch out here. But back to business. Let's let's see how this turned out. All right. As you know, there's hardware cloth under here. Uh, you can see where it stops there, and you can see where it stops there. And then all along the sides, I took those two-inch solids, put them all the way around. They go all the way back here. Thank you, light goes back around here and all the way back out. So any burrowers, they're going to have to try to get through this and this is some heavy stuff. So I feel confident about that with the hardware cloth under there and that on top, it's it's pretty good. And this is where my trouble spot was back in the corner. But uh, yeah, I think it turned out pretty well. So uh, everything's all set back up in here. I put some fresh straw in so they got lots of straw to move around. They're not even going to really notice the stuff that's under here once you kind of cover that up. So that's, uh, I think, a pretty good job. The only thing I may have done differently, thinking about it now, is I, I left some overhang here, and maybe I would have liked to even have more to get it up to here and then maybe secure it. But I do want to be able to remove this if I want to, so that's sort of why it's like that. And I don't think I really have to worry about anything back here. It's uh, pretty tight. I don't see anything getting through there, so we sh should be good to go from there. One last thing going around the back, I want to show you what I did here. This is my weakness back here was this corner and I took and put all these cinder blocks lining up against the wall so if there was any issue back there there, there shouldn't be now this is pretty secure here and I just did this other corner because I feel like the corners might be a problem I think between the hardware cloth, the tin snips, and the blocks, I spent about $100 trying to predator-proof this coop, and I think that it's going to be a pretty good job. After the past few weeks, though, I think I'm always going to be nervous about having my chickens out here, but I do feel confident putting them in here tonight and knowing that they're going to be safe. Um, I don't know what more I could do to, to really keep anything out of here, and they were good for a long period of time. I think what I did is, is, is going to be sufficient, and... Uh, uh, I, I think it's money well spent. I wish I would have done it before I suffered such great losses. So thanks for watching, and I'll have another video up here soon.